So for any new entrant acquiring some new land, one of the first and most important things to do is to undertake some soil sampling so we can determine the nutrient status of the land. You may have heard some farmers call the soil the heart of the farm, and that's because good soil health is vital for grass and crop production and subsequent livestock performance. Soil types can vary across areas and especially across farms, so it's also important to know your soil type and to assess the condition of that soil. So the main things we'd be looking to test for in a basic sample is the soil pH, which is the acidity of the soil, the phosphate, potassium and magnesium. Maintaining these, these main nutrients at target levels will optimise grass growth and crop production as well. A basic soil sample will cover these nutrients. Uh, a basic one put through an SAC lab will also include additional measures such as calcium, sodium and organic matter. You can then take it a step further and get a broad spectrum test done, which will also include a lot of other micronutrients in the soil if required. Soil sampling is relatively cheap to do and it's something that you can do yourself. All you need to get started is a soil corer or you can use a spade. You'll need a small bucket to mix the soil, some clear soil bags and a pen. You want to sample down to about 8 centimetres for grassland and 15 centimetres for arable. For the method, you want to walk a W pattern of the field, taking at least five samples on each leg of the walk. So you've got 20 to 25 cores of the whole field. You want to fill a small bag aiming for about half a kilo of soil. Avoid sampling when soils are waterlogged or in very dry conditions. Stay away from the edge of the fields and avoid gateways, feed areas or where any lime or dung might have been historically stored. Large fields ideally should be subdivided to get a more representative result of the field. Once you've got your soils in the pail, give them a good mix and tip them into the soil bag. Label the bag with the field number or name and send it off to an accredited soil testing lab. The best time to undertake soil sampling is in the autumn or early in the spring. This is after your main cropping season and before any dung or fertilisers applied for the following year's crops. If you're needing to sample in the summer because a field is underperforming, you want to try and ensure that you're sampling at least two to three months after fertiliser or slurry or dung has been applied and a year after any lime has been applied. Any fields that have been amalgamated should be sampled separately. You want to concentrate on any fields that are underperforming first and you want to sample a year before sowing a crop to allow time to correct any deficiencies that are picked up with the sampling. Sampling should be undertaken every four years or more often if it's justified. If you've had a problem or a deficiency in a field and you've applied products to correct it, you may want to sample that field the following year to assess the impact. After sending the soils off to the lab, you'll normally receive the results back within five to 10 days. The results can then be used to correct any deficiencies or to formulate a nutrient plan for your farm.